Missed shots that were turned into goals, referees kicking a player only to send him off straight after, and a player getting three yellow cards in the same match. Today, we take a look at the 10 worst referee performances in modern day football that are so bad that it makes your Sunday league ref look like the reincarnation of Pierluigi Colina. Number 10 goes to the mother of all clear goals that weren't awarded. Forget Mendes' goal against United or Lampard's World Cup goal versus Germany. No, no, Paddy Connolly from Dundee United got straight up rubbed. Two minutes from half time, Michael O'Neill's corner is flicked on by John Clark and Paddy Connolly puts the ball in the net. He clearly scored, but then the ball bounced back out off the stanchion. And then, a defender from the other team caught the ball with his hands and gave it to his own keeper. So, if it's not a goal, it's at least a penalty, right? Nope. Play on, said the ref. Who incredibly waves play on. Ninth place goes to England hero Paul Gascoigne, who'd found the ref's yellow card lying on the pitch. And after holding on to it for a little bit, he decided to give it back. But not before showing the ref himself the yellow card. And clearly, the man in black, Dougie Smith, didn't enjoy himself and booked Gasser back for his troubles. I think a little lack of humor there. Sounds like he's fun at parties. In 8th, we have Byron Moreno, who should probably stay away from Italy forever. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. In the World Cup in 2002 versus South Korea, he gave South Korea a soft penalty, overlooked an elbow in the face of Del Piero and another straight red card, but then sent off Francesco Totti for diving when he should have actually had a penalty. Oh, and he ruled out Italy's golden goal in extra time. Ouch. In 2013, Stefan Kiesling went up for a header, but hit the side netting instead of scoring. Or so he thought. Kiesling gets his goal! However, somehow the ball ended up inside the goal because of a small hole in the side netting. And even though the referee saw the hole himself, the goal stood. It was a wonderful header. Brilliant. So next time, buy stronger nets, Hoffenheim. Normally, two yellow cards means you're off. Unless you're Joseph Szymanic. Because in the World Cup in 2006, Graham Paul ended up showing Szymanic three yellow cards before sending him off. Why no one from Australia made Mr. Paul aware after the second yellow, though, is beyond me. Fifth place goes to Diego Maradona, who managed to score both one of the finest goals in history and a super blatant handball goal in the World Cup in 1986, which he didn't even deny and after called the hand of God. Nonetheless, the ref should have shown some divine intervention and ruled the goal out. It was your hand or the hand of God? Cheers. <laughs> For me, man. <laughs> However, that's not the biggest crime in World Cup history. That title goes to the ref who decided to not send off German keeper Harald Schumacher after he completely obliterated Batistong from France. Poor fella broke three ribs and lost two teeth, but nah, that's a goal kick. What? Now, the look of confusion here in Andre Mariner's eyes explains number three well. He's just sent off Kieran Gibbs for making a world-class save on the line. The only problem was that it wasn't Gibbs who made the save of the season. That honor went to Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who somehow also managed to stay on the pitch afterwards. And okay, they did kind of have the same haircut, <laughs> but come on. What's even more baffling was the decision to award a goal when Thomas Helmer tried to score a back heel against Nuremberg in 1994. Now, the fact that he didn't score is baffling enough, but somehow the referee decided that it was a goal. Now, because of that massive error, they replayed the match and Nuremberg lost 5-0 instead of the original 2-1. So no Christmas cards for the referee from them, I guess. The dumbest thing I've seen, though, was when French referee Tony Chapon was accidentally tripped by non-defender Diego Carlos during a counter versus PSG. But he must have gotten out of the wrong side of the bet as he first kicked out at Carlos and then sent him off. He's in real trouble. Diego Carlos is sent off for a second bookable. 
So that escalated quickly, and Chapong retired at the end of his six-month ban. Probably for the best. So there you have them, guys. The worst refereeing performances ever. But did we miss any? Let us know in the comments down below, and then make sure to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on before maybe checking out 10 football rules that you didn't know. With that, I'm signing off. Cheerio.